Yo, what's up guys? Austin More Skills Gaming. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get every single vehicle in Dinkum. There are a total of 10 vehicles, so let's go. All right, so just to give you guys a general overview of all the vehicles, some vehicles you can paint and some vehicles you can't paint, right? So I have some red paint right here and I'm going to paint one of my vehicles red. So like, let's just say if I want to turn my motorcycle right here from black to red, all I got to do is just walk up to it and press the paint and now it's red. And there are some vehicles that you can just carry around your inventory that's gonna make your life so much easier in this game. But what's really cool is some vehicles require a vehicle license while other vehicles don't require one. And we're gonna break it all down in this video. All right, so let's get it with our first vehicle and this is the rowboat right here. Now the rowboat is actually one of the first vehicles you get. It's kind of a pain to drive though. Um, and this is the only vehicle that you can actually craft and to get the rowboat You're gonna need a vehicle license level one, but yeah, even though they're kind of annoying to drive There's room for two which is kind of cool now if you want to craft yourself a rowboat All you're gonna need is some gum wood plank some palm wood plank a uh, tin bar and some nails Okay, so the next vehicle is the wheelbarrow now the wheelbarrow. I don't really use it all that much but I recently got into terraforming. I had some terraforming projects that I did in this game and the wheelbarrow can help with that because how you can use it, right? So let's say you're gonna need a shovel. So I take the shovel and you can put dirt inside the wheelbarrow. So once you have the wheelbarrow full, you can actually uh, drive the wheelbarrow over to your terraforming project that way you don't have to go back and forth with just like one thing in your shovel so let's say if i want to do some work onto my house right here all i gotta do is just take my shovel you know and i can add on to my house i can add on to my deck and i can make my deck a little bit bigger and see check it out we extended our deck <laughs> pretty cool though it is missing a little something we gotta put some hardwood path on it all right, so the next vehicle you can get is a motorcycle. And the motorcycle is pretty awesome. Um, it's not like super fast or anything, but it's definitely a lot faster than just walking. Now to get a motorcycle, you're gonna need a vehicle permit level two. And our little scientist over here, this is where our scientist lives. Franklin, he can actually make the motorcycle for you after you give him enough shiny disc. Eventually, you'll see it there and you'll unlock it. Now, the only downside of the motorcycle is that it doesn't go in the water. So if you want to explore your whole entire island with the motorcycle, you're probably going to have to invest in a lot of bridges because the bridges are the only way to really get over the water. Unless, of course, you build a really huge, massive ramp. Hey, that gives me an idea. So this right here is my motorcycle ramp that I built. Uh, you know, I, I kind of just want to be evil Knievel for a little bit, you know? Now, unfortunately, the motorcycle only goes up to a certain speed. Woo! Yeah! It took me about an hour or two to terraform this. And a ton of palm wood planks. And ten bars. But, I gotta say... It was totally worth it. Okay, so the next vehicle is the jet ski. And the jet ski is pretty cool. It's kind of like the motorcycle, but for the water. And I love the jet ski. It's, it's really fun to ride. It's a lot faster than the robo, and it's not really a pain to drive like the robo is. And obviously, Franklin makes this. He makes a lot of the vehicles for you. And the water vehicles especially, they just make underwater diving and fishing so much easier. Because I can actually just stop what I'm doing if I see like a little fish. And I can just fish from the jet ski. And it's the same thing with diving. You know, if I see a fish that I, I, that I want, I'll just go in here and I'll just, you know, dive for the critter that I want. Alright, so the next vehicle is this mule birdie. The emule, I, I don't know how to say it. I'm just going to call it the birdie, and the birdie is really cool. This is actually one of the vehicles that doesn't require a vehicle license. And the birdie is kind of like a hybrid between the motorcycle and the jet ski because this thing can go in the water. So me personally, I think the mule is one of the best transportations in the game because of that. 
at least one of the best land transportations. And if you want to get one of these, you're going to need to have a mule saddle. And you can find that deep in the mines. I actually have a deep in the mines guide. Once you have the saddle, uh, all you gotta do is walk up to the mule and just put it on there and then you can start riding it. All right, so the next vehicle you can get is the lawnmower. And I love this thing. It's pretty cool. You can use it to cut grass. Now, I don't think the lawnmower is actually the best for cutting grass. I think the chainsaw is actually a lot faster. And it's funny because I actually feel like Sonic the Hedgehog while I'm cutting grass with the chainsaw. But I still really enjoy the lawnmower. It's just very relaxing and very satisfying to use. Definitely one of my favorites. All right, so up next is the boogie board, and this thing is super cool. You don't need a vehicle license to get the boogie board. You actually get the boogie board deep in the mines, inside one of the chest. And the reason why I love this thing so much is because it makes you swim so much faster. And this thing is so cool, I always keep one on me. And I use it pretty much everywhere, in rivers, the ocean, anything with a body of water. All right, so the next vehicle is the tractor, and this thing is really awesome if you love farming. I literally just unlocked this thing, and it was one of the last things that I unlocked, because the tractor needs a lot of different things in order to unlock it. And thankfully, farming got buffed, so it's a lot more balanced now, which means you'll unlock this tractor a lot faster. So let's talk about the stuff that you need to unlock the tractor. Tractor. Number one, you're going to need a vehicle license level two. Then you're going to need to get your farming to level 20. Once your farming is on level 20, you will unlock the agriculture license. And once you have the agriculture vehicle license, Franklin will make it for you. Franklin won't make it for you unless you have that. Now the tractor is a little bit expensive. It's like 1.5 million but it's totally worth it. It's really awesome. And after you get the tractor, you can unlock certain attachments for it, right? So the tractor has three different attachments. The first one is harvesting, and it'll look like this, even though I don't have anything to harvest, but you know, it is harvesting. Now the next attachment is called plowing. Yeah, it'll look like this right here. See how I'm plowing the land? Man, I love using this thing. This thing is so awesome. All right, and the final attachment you get is planting which basically plants your seeds so much faster. I'll show you what that looks like. So we just gotta put our um, thing over the seeds and voila, look at that, it's like magic. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. I might have to do this thing backwards for the tomatoes. Let me try to do this thing backwards. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But the tractor is definitely a game changer for farming. In order to get more attachments for your tractor, you just gotta keep leveling up the agriculture license. And like I said, after you do it three times, it's at max level and it's pretty cool. All right, so next we have the glider. And the glider is super cool. You can glide over the rivers with it. See, I can just like, just stand on my house, right? And then I can just glide over the lake. <laughs> so cool. So awesome. And you find the glider inside of a chest. Well, there's actually two different gliders, right? That I've discovered. There might be more. But the yellow glider, I found that in a chest while it's deep in the mines. Now, this right here is the red glider. Uh, the red glider is pretty cool looking. Now, you get the red glider from a secret NPC that will not come in a campsite. Um, the NPC actually will come to your island on a rainy day and you have to have one million in the bank right i actually have a whole video breaking that down the red glider may be a little bit easier to get um, because the yellow glider is super rare um, i got kind of lucky um, it has a very low spawn rate in the chest, so may maybe the red glider might be easier to get and the final vehicle is the helicopter which is Arguably the best vehicle in the game. Uh, it's better than the glider because you can just go straight up in the air with it And you can kind of just you know 
go all around the map in the air. Now, in order to get the helicopter, you're going to need a vehicle license level three, which I do believe is around 7,000 some permit points. So it's definitely not cheap. Make sure you save up your permit points. And then you have to pay Franklin like three mil or something like that to get it. So plus materials. Like, see, check it out. I'm just flying over the ocean right now looking at the sharks super cool now if you need help making money in dinkum because like i said some of these vehicles are really expensive be sure to check out my money guide on my channel and if you enjoyed this video might as well check out my whole entire dinkum playlist i got a bunch on there and uh yeah peace out later